Hello there folks, I'm Tim Dunn and <laughs> yep, this is what we're here to talk about and see because I was lucky enough to be on the very first passenger train trip for 75 years hauled by this, one of the finest locomotives of the Victorian era, that is London South Western Railway T3 class number 563. It has had an incredible journey to this moment with a series of remarkable events leading to its unlikely and quite incredible survival. Now they've been written about in recent editions of Steam Railway magazine, with exclusive behind the scenes access to see its restoration as well at the flour mill in the Forest of Dean. Now this video is set at the Swanage Railway in Dorset, which now owns this locomotive where it's now based. Now I was there on behalf of the Steam Railway magazine crew, as numbers were necessarily very limited on the day. I decided the best way to take a ride on it though was to share the privilege with you as well. So, after a few shunting manoeuvres and speeches, what follows is a real time trip up the line with cameras that I attach to the locomotive, with their permission, of course. Now, I've combined footage of two different trips, one shortly after the other one, so you get some nice extra views en route. But you might spot some variations in some of the locomotive crew as you go along. Don't be alarmed. Now, because this is all new to everybody at the railway, we thought it best not to film in the cab itself on the day because frankly the last thing someone trying to do a difficult job with a crowd around them is to have a camera over the back of their shoulders. Trust me, I should know. I've also added in something rather special to the end of the video after the trip finishes. It's a speech made by the senior curator of the National Railway Museum, Anthony Cools. And the reason for that is the unique locomotive is being steamed now, of course, because of a collections review the museum had some years back, which resulted in them giving the locomotive to the Swanage Railway Trust. So, the locomotive in steam behind him, looking every inch a very proud father who's passed on uh, his child into the big white world, uh, Anthony Cools, uh, rightly having the last word. So, enough of me. Let's go from the glorious seaside resort of Swanage, through Hurston Holt, and through Harmon's Cross, and non-stop through Corf Castle Station 2 to Norden. This is a veritable excursion express train. Just the thing this locomotive was built for back in 1893. I really hope you enjoy this. Cheers. The 1235 service, number 563 supporter special, is standing at platform two.
Well done, everyone. From earlier in the day, here's that speech from Anthony Cools of the National Railway Museum. Uh, it's been uh, six years since the National Railway Museum transferred by to the us back in 2017. So we're delighted to welcome back senior curator Anthony Cools. <laughs> so 
Good morning, everybody, and thank you. I shall attempt to shout into this lollipop that Nathan has given me, and I hope that you can all hear. Uh, what a splendid day this is, and how fantastic to see so many people entering into the spirit, dressing for the occasion for a Victorian engine. I'm afraid I have not risen to the occasion, but I do have my T3 tie on today. So next time you hear someone say there are no enthusiasts at the NRM, that's because I'm here. <laughs> Preservation is built on, wouldn't it be nicest? Wouldn't it be nice if? Wouldn't it be a great idea if? And the T3, I have to say, began as a wouldn't it be nice? Now, in the crowd today is a very dear family friend of ours, a gentleman called Ian Cohn, who is a volunteer at this railway, and Ian has known our family for many years. And 20 years ago, I gave Ian a behind-the-scenes tour of locomotion in Shildon, and this engine was in the museum, and Ian said to me, he said, you know, wouldn't it be nice if we saw the T3 at Swanage? And I said, no, Ian, it'll never happen because, uh, you know, the money that we could spend going into that, we could digitise all these plans and drawings and photographs and make a legacy. But fast forward a few years and the National Railway Museum, senior curator that I am, we undertook a collections review. Museum collections are not static. Things come, things go, some things stay forever. And the T3 came under our spotlight for review. And we thought, actually, wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> and the stars aligned. Now, people questioned our judgment on that decision to transfer the engine to the railway here. But I think it's fair to say that if we had not transferred the loco, we would not see the glorious sight that we have behind us, in front of us, and be riding behind it today. We acted with integrity. The Swanage Railway Trust took on that integrity and they have delivered the most beautiful engine. We have all learned through the process because through the research that Nathan, Matt and the team have done, they understand more about the engine's history through the work that was very carefully done at the flour mill by Bill and Jeff and their team, especially with the recreation of the firebox we're looking at skills retention. We're looking at new generations understanding locomotive engineering. And if that's not what the National Railway Museum, the Swanage Railway Trust is about, then I don't know what it is. I think it's fair to say that had the engine not been transferred in 2017, we'd be doing something else today. We'd probably at the Great Central Railway Gala or Festinion Railway. But it is marvellous to have shared the journey at a distance with the team here to see the quality of work and when you get five minutes with this engine do have a look at the paintwork the crest hand painted by phil anderson the sign writer i don't know if you're here today phil but perhaps you know renoir in 10 15 20 years ago they will be talking about an anderson <laughs> i'm conscious there are other people to speak and that the train needs to go shortly so i'll wrap it up but i have a, a maxim I'd, the National Collection as the senior curator of the right thing in the right place at the right time. Now, we are no longer custodians of the engine. It belongs to the Trust. But I do solemnly believe and say to you all that this is exactly the right engine in the right place at the right time. Congratulations to you all. If you like this video, please do comment, share or peg. Why not even subscribe for more Steam Railway action?